Travis Barker, drummer of Blink-182, opened a restaurant, and I'm standing right in front of it. Let's go give our honest review. Come on. So as you guys can see, this does look like an upscale restaurant for sure. It looks very yeah. fancy. We are in Calabasas right now, which is known to have the Kardashians right around the corner. Drake lives out here. The weekend, so many different celebrities live out here. So it makes sense that this would be on a fancier type of restaurant. Yeah, it is at the Commons. So this is like where you would see a celebrity. Exactly. If you saw a celebrity, you'd see them right here. I will say it's like a more laid back upscale restaurant. Right. Like they're giving you paper menus. Like maybe it's because COVID was still a thing not too COVID, long ago. No, that was years you ago. Know, this restaurant just opened last week. Literally brand new. Travis Barker, if you don't know what he is, he's the drummer of Blink 182. He represents some of the biggest artists of today. You know, Jaden. Um, what's his kid's name? His son. I'm just talking about TikTok stars, honestly. <laughs> Other than that, he's married to Kourtney Kardashian. And if you know anything about Travis Barker, literally, what, 10 years ago, he was in a crazy airplane crash that killed everybody on board except for him. He was burnt from head to toe, which is why he has a lot of tattoos to cover up all of his burns. He had the tattoos body. before, but he had to get them redone because they all burnt off. So that's just a little backstory on Travis Barker. Yeah. Other than he that, is vegan. He is so vegan. So this restaurant is completely vegan. Completely vegan. And as you know, Jake and I are carnivores, so this isn't going to really sit right with us. But let's just jump into this menu and let's see what they got. So it's like a, an Italian. Yeah, it's definitely Italian. I'm seeing a lot of house-made pastas, pizzas, um, desserts. It does have a burger, though. They have a double smash burger. The one thing I, I love about vegan spots is that they try so hard to pretend their food is like a regular food. You know what I mean? Yeah. With smash burgers, lasagna bolognese, Pizza, like you know that ain't pe pepperoni. That's what I'm saying. Like, those ain't actual meats. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so what? What's the point? If you don't eat meat, don't name it meat names. Right. Because I feel like if I was a, if I was a vegan, I, I would be like against anything that had to do with meat and poultry and anything that has to do with live and animals. And then, and then isn't just funny when you're eating a pepperoni vegan pepperoni or a vegan burger and you're like, oh, this is so good. Wouldn't you just imagine how good the real goddamn thing is? <laughs> What's good on here? Yeah, we don't know. What do you suggest? Because uh, we are not, we don't eat a lot of vegan stuff, so. Okay. Really? <laughs> Even the workers aren't vegan. Then again, then again, if I was a waiter, I would definitely probably come to try to get a job here. It's a brand new establishment. Probably get big tips over here in this area, so. Oh, for sure. And like the price point, like for bolognese, $25 for pasta. You know what? Like that's not the cheapest thing and that's not the most expensive thing. There is more. Well, think about it. If we're comparing, like a double smash burger is 20 bucks, so. Either way, let's figure out what we want to get. Let's order it and then let's get the freaking Amex ready to charge it. The calamari, have you had it before? Delicious. It's delicious? Yes. yes. Perfect, uh, thank with, you. With mushrooms. Oh, with mushrooms, yeah? sweet. Great. Thank you, my with friend. Thank you. Mushrooms. Oh, it's, it's me? It's kind of like very similar. Do you want to try it? I can't wait for you to say. Sure, you yeah. Want to watch us? Yeah. He wants to see us try it. Okay, so he said it's made out of mushrooms. We were wondering what it would be made out of, so let's do this. Lemonize it. Let's go. What do you guys think? It has a similar consistency. Uh -huh. mm. Flavor. Yeah, it does kind of. It does kind of taste like I do taste the mushroom now that you mentioned it. Yeah. But it does have that similar consistency. It is really good. Not yeah. bad. If I was actually vegan, I think this would be the next next best thing to calamari. Definitely. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thank you, my Thank friend. Thank you. So off the of presentation, it's not giving me anything to like wow about. No, yeah. It, at it literally looks like they served us an empty plate. It almost looks like someone had came here, ate most of it, and then walked away. Yeah, because there's a lot of crumples with there's it. There's a lot of crumples and there's a lot of empty space. Like I think when you're giving something like this, I think it's because like I feel like if we would have ordered the appetizer by itself maybe there would have been more but I think the fact that we oh, ordered our lunch it, special we get like half the dose. It says half on the menu. Okay so that so makes, makes sense. sense. Um, I will say I do not know how they get the shapes out of a mushroom like this. Yeah I don't understand either. It, I guess it's the best thing you could get next to an actual calamari like to kind of trick your mind but it's nowhere as delicious as calamari actually no, it's, is. No it's lacking the flavor from yeah, it. Yeah you got like just straight mushroom flavor that's deep fried. So the deep fried is what kind of makes you think about a calamari, but other than that, it just tastes like a mushroom. And I will say right off the bat, if you don't like spiciness, I will say right off the bat, if you don't like spiciness, this thing is infused with like chili flakes, mm -hmm. has banana peppers all around it, so make sure to read that menu. Right. But for me, I love it. We love spicy. So as you guys can see, it does have like a chili powder or something all over it as like well. A Cajun. Yeah, it's like a Cajun or something like that. All over it, even the marinara has chili flakes inside of it. So like Jake said, it is very pushed to be spicy. So first of all, 
first off, we're gonna try the pizza first. I got the sausage and onions pizza. It's got peppers, it's got it's got the sausage, tomatoes. it's got cheese, it's got tomato yeah. sauce. But I will say I touched it off camera and the the dough is like really like it's really crispy. Mine's really soft over here. Really? Over here but it's they, really they, crispy. They didn't, they didn't turn it. Oh, I see what you well, mean. What's interesting though, is it does look rather good for a vegan pizza. Like, almost if you just saw this, you'd maybe think it was just a regular pizza. Anyways, right. let's go for it. Cheers. It's creamy. Very creamy. Really creamy. I'm like, where the hell did all that cream come from? Yeah, I don't know. It's almost interesting though, because I know they're trying with these sausages, but I almost couldn't even taste the sausage at all. No. All I taste is the peppers on it. I and the tomato bit sauce. It, I literally bit into it and it was like the consistency of like mashed potatoes. It kind of just like slipped uh -huh. down your throat. Well, oh, you can see right here. Look at this. I don't know what this is right here, but that's like the creaminess that Jake's talking about. It's good though. It's good. If you really separate all the ingredients in your mouth, the dough, good. Good. But it's already vegan. The sauce, good. But it's already vegan. I mean, I don't know if the dough is because they put they, like butter and milk in there. That's not vegan. Well, I don't, I mean, no. Isn't it just flour? Flour and water? Probably. Eggs? Eggs, I don't know. Maybe. All I, the, the, the real things I taste though, I feel like are majority, probably not even animal products. The the things that are animal products, like the cheese, the sausage, I don't taste them at all. There's like little no. to no flavor in them. So we know what we're going on with. It actually does indeed look like a sausage though, you could see. Wow. So it does have a sausagey taste to it by itself. But mm. I think it's just very, very slight. It's faint. It's, it's very, very faint. faint. So let's try this pasta. Get a scoop out of there. I mean, I wouldn't say cheesy, but it does look just like pasta would. You want to put it down so I can like just get, go get for a it, scoop, man. You know? Like you don't need to okay. scoop. Okay, let's do it. Pasta's a little al dente, but on, it's not on bad. Brand. I do like their sauce that they used on this, but then again, it might already be a non-animal product. You know what I mean? Like the. the I don't know what this sauce is made out of. I will say it is rather it's good. tasty pasta. It's good. Yeah. Pasta noodles are cooked really good. Mm -hmm. They're creamy. Everything in there just like coats your mouth with flavor. That's definitely the better choice over the pizza. Definitely, 100%. and I think that's why they have so many different choices of the pastas because these are probably their best sellers. They're probably the best. I think it's really good. I think the dough on the pizza is really good, so I'm gonna combine the two. Mm -hmm. Just really get in there. Mm. The more that these vegan restaurants are popping up, the more people are gonna start turning to veganism because the food kind of tastes like actual animal products. And it's probably a lot healthier for you, if you really think about it. I don't know about a lot healthier, but- I don't but know, I think you, before you speak on stuff like that, you should do some research Someone let us know in the comments down below, is vegan food healthier or not get, healthier? You get certain stuff from meat and you, that you can't get from just being vegan. So you right. have to like do that, but also, why would someone turn vegan if it's gonna be more expensive than eating meat? That's true, it is a lot more expensive than eating meat. Like you can go and buy a steak for seven or eight bucks at the market, but if you wanted to go buy like soy and this and that just to make your ingredients taste like it would be meat, you're gonna spend like 20, 30 bucks. Yeah, you have to go to specific uh, markets to get the better quality stuff. Hey you Travis, if you see this, let's make a song, man. I got new music coming soon. Here's a three second preview. You're not my friend, cause friends stick together to the end. Then you go and stab me in the back and then pretend that I'm the bad guy Then you ask why, why, why you not my friend, yeah. Alright, so the total is $63.32 There is a BOH ser service charge What the heck is a BOH? I'm guessing back of house, so the cooks So they're adding a 3% charge to every single check mm. So they can give money to the, to the cooks I mean, that's nice for the cooks, but for the consumer, like that kind of annoys me a little bit. It's like, you're charging me this much money for food, like give them some of your cut. Why should I pay extra for them? I know they cooked yeah. it, but like give them the tip or something. Like I'm just being the consumer and how I feel about an extra 3%, it's like, I'm gonna just deduct it from the tip. Honestly, yeah, it's how I feel. Yeah. I'll give her like, instead of 20%, I'm giving her 17 now. But I'm not trying to like start any drama with anyone in the comments. If you agree with me, let me know. This is their custom chocolate. It Ooh, has the custom cross crossroads chocolate dessert. Let's see what dessert, what vegan dessert is like here. Just dark chocolate. Dark chocolate's good for your soul though. It's good for blood pressure. All right, let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. You guys just came here for this. Mmm. That was the best part of the whole meal. Good chocolate. Tastes just like normal. It didn't taste like dark chocolate though. Tastes like a their version of a milk chocolate. Mm-hmm. 
Yo, so on the walls, they have like actual signed autographs. Oh my Van god. Halen. Yeah, Stevie Nicks right here. And they have signed pictures in every single corner of this room. It does help that, you know, Travis Barker is the owner of this place and he's the drummer for Blink-182. It's all like rock band icons that are up here. So, why doesn't he have a picture of himself signed? That is, oh wait, isn't that him right there? I don't know, we have to go look. <laughs> <laughs> he might, he might. So there you have it, Travis Barker's brand new restaurant. Honestly, not bad for vegan food. I feel good after it, so that's a plus. That wraps up this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, pick up the merch, BrandonTaylor.com, and until next time, I'll see you later. Peace. You know my friend, yeah, cause friends stick together to the end. Then you go and stab me in the back.